Hello there and welcome back to another episode in our modded series. So, I, I'm really sorry, but between the episodes I got a little carried away and I've done quite a few upgrades for the, for the colony. So, at the time of recording this video, the last episode is actually not yet out, so I have not seen your comments, but I have read the comments from episode 6 and 7 already. So, a few things uh, that has changed, so let's, let's go through it. We've got a couple more bumps over here and I've dynamited I think another layer down already. Uh, maybe not, maybe I have. Oh yeah, well, half of it, kind of. I've also started to put in or queue up some dynamites up here as well in case we get some spare ones. So my idea is because this colony, the mountaintop colony here, is, well, in theory, producing twice as many dynamites as our main colony they will look after this reservoir in here and the other ones the main colony will be focusing as soon as i remove those stairs they'll be looking after this area plus they also have to deepen the stream in here as well all right so to the comments we do have a couple of beavers still in the observatory here then i have also completed a levee wall all the way around so now we are are able to have, well, slightly bigger area, pretty fertile now. We've got an extra windmill here and a couple of beaver lodges as well. So we have, let's see, our beaver population is now up to 21. And essentially we're producing, well, if we had power, we would be producing gears, blanks and everything we really need in here. When it comes to food, yeah, I've... Um, I just, yeah, it, it was too difficult to, not difficult I suppose, but just too annoying. And I put down one of those distribution posts. All they do, they sit here all day, food gets brought in here, and they just carry it across the border. Here we go, we got one beaver. Where are you off to? Just in here. And we're bringing in bread, carrots, griddle potatoes, and some logs as well. I mean, we are producing some in here, but it's always good to have a bit extra. Right, so yeah, I've changed my mind. Enough was enough, so distribution post is in place now. And I'm sure a lot of you will agree with uh, this as well. We tried to survive as long as we could without it, but it just makes more sense to have it. So there we go, we have it. Now we are also trying to deepen this by just one level, just to keep a little bit of extra water in here and the area a bit more green as well. I've kind of let those trees or the forest go wild, so they've expanded quite a bit. And yeah, I think in total, uh, when I checked the save um, timestamps, I think we've gone or jumped ahead a couple of cycles. It's just, I'd love to not cut or do so much off-camera work. However, with the wind and the power up here, it just takes such a long time to get those dynamites ready and in place as well. Yeah, so I'll, I'll try and do less off-camera work. But I think with this area, maybe I might just forget everything else and just focus on this area. But the, the downside of that is the further the cycles go, the longer the droughts will be as well. So I have to be a little bit careful and keep a good balance between off-camera work and, and our main sort of bigger projects and expansions as well. Now, let me pop open a couple of notes I took from the comments. So Luke... Uh, had a great suggestion and I think there was someone else actually on one of the previous ones as well um, Luke said that well it wouldn't be a bad idea to actually put some levees in place here to expand our reservoir and I agree with him even though I don't think it's gonna look super nice but I feel it might be vital to the success of our colony so at least in the for the next five or I don't know six seven cycles it would be pretty smart to do at least, I don't know, one or two levels of levees just to go around here. Uh, so that way we can store a bit more water and ensure that our beavers will not die of thirst. Uh, actually, let me just speed up the time as well whilst it's night time. So thank you, Luke. I think it's a great idea. And yeah, let's let's try and do it in this episode. We'll put a couple of levee, uh, levees in. There we go. And uh, we'll, you know, secure our water a little bit more. Now, another comment that I do have to make. One of the mods seems to be broken, so I have removed it. That was called the undesired storages. So now we just have to go back to the good old trick where we remove the road before the finished building. 
the storage so that way they're not gonna stack it up with all sorts of resources and then another one from Trent uh, he said to make it look a little bit less industrial here we could place some um, platforms which I was planning to do anyways uh, but um, another thing he mentioned was to use some of the rooftop terraces here and we could create some little lounge areas for the beavers uh, so they can go and uh, chill out whilst uh, well or when they get tired a little bit now my initial plan was actually to put a whole lot of windmills along those walls here but yeah i, I kind of like this idea from Trent, so we could try and incorporate at least a couple of those rooftop terraces. Okay, so now on to this episode. I think in the previous one I forgot to connect one of the windmills and uh, I just spotted another one, but we've, um, yeah, we've, we've fixed it. It's, it's all good, unless you meant there was one over here, let me see. Okay, I think wherever it was I have fixed it. And now we just have to fix this one in here as well. So why don't you connect to this building? Okay, great. We've got some uh, spaceships levitating above us, but that's because I'm putting a few double floodgates in uh, just to get us ready to move into this area in the, in the future. Now, uh, yep. So for this episode, we'll be focusing on the bit of an extension for the reservoir in there. We'll carry on dynamiting this area down a few levels and what I'd also like to do is start setting up some farms which means we have to bring water a little bit further and in this area I would really like to start putting in some housing for the beavers. So this all, all means we are going to need quite a few logs. Uh, yep, yep, yep. How many do we have in this district so far? Only 100. Okay, we probably want to increase that number quite a bit. How many haulers do we have? Oh, we only have one, so... Are you full? No. So, why aren't you bringing any logs over? Where are you guys? You're just chilling out here. Well, that's a... Uh... Oh, we might have the limit, so let's take a look. Where are the logs? Logs are here. 50. Now, we'll make it 500. That should be the limit i suppose if we want to have a limit and are you guys bringing stuff over now yes they are beautiful okay so we're getting logs in there as well oh another fix that i now remembered what i've done is i had to waste those gears and we have put down another launch just to connect the power and make sure we're it's being passed through essentially in here what i've done as well we're most likely going to need quite a bit more paper so as soon as this paper mill gets built, that's going to pass power through from both sides and we can get rid of the power shaft in here. But we'll just wait until it's done. They still need a few more blanks, which I believe is being produced in here. Yes, they are. What else do we need? Gears, logs, everything's in place. So that's, that's good. Yeah. Okay. So let us take a look. Where shall we start with? Maybe... Well, we've got 13.5 days, but it doesn't hurt to get this area as fixed as we can. So, beavers, you got nothing to do. Please just get rid of those trees. And then, uh, let's see, we could bring the... Are oh, they going to get stuck, aren't they? Okay, let's do it this way. We'll start placing you down over there. And you can probably go... We don't really need this area any more or at all. Right, and then we're going to have to connect this over. Put a flood gate somewhere there. So yeah, okay, so you can go there. This can be demolished. And I guess we could go straight through somewhere there and then connect over. Yep, let's do that. And uh, same in here. So how about you just go directly through. And we'll speed up the time just a little bit as well. There we go. Okay. Uh, when it comes to these dynamites in here, I hope you can still see it. I know it's a little bit dark, but there's uh, quite a few in here. I think I'm going to wait until we're a little bit closer to the end of the drought. Because um, I guess I'm kind of afraid if we blow them up, is some of that water going to disappear? 
potentially. I don't think the game has this kind of mechanics yet, but I'm thinking this could be one of the possibilities, so I've sort of left them in and... and oh well, yeah. Uh, anyways, get these ones done first. And we'll probably want to have you done too, don't we? Yeah. That could be a good one. Uh, we can't really get rid of you, can we? That's okay, we can do... Let's do a levy there. And then we're gonna bring it straight through. Another thing we'll also probably need is you guys might have to get out of here. Let's see. All of you. Not all of you, actually. Let's just take these bits out. And then that should be the outline of the reservoir that we shall build around here. Uh, wait, you're in the way, aren't you? Okay, so same thing in here. Slope. Um, we can still access it from the other side, so I'm sorry, but you're gonna go as well and then a levy here uh, what are you guys up to uh, they're just demolishing things okay so that's fine how many builders do we have in this district uh, few four okay I guess it's okay you're done okay great we can now Mmm, we actually didn't need a dynamite, so it's a bit of a waste of resources, but I guess it's okay. Is this already... Oh, they've already expanded a little bit. Well, that's alright. And then we'll put a few levees in just around here too. Okay, so these trees are gone. Fantastic. Let's block you in. And maybe like so. Hmm, I'm thinking we might leave this open and maybe block it with the road just for the time being. In case we want to build this a little bit quicker. Yeah, so let's take these roads as well. And Livy's, where are you? Just, oh, uh, wait a second. Get this done first. Maybe do it like so. Okay, that should give them enough access, I believe. And you are done, however... Let's pause these couple of ones. They can do these levies. Do we have enough logs? Oh yeah, we've got 300 now, so that's plenty. Let's go three times the speed. Whilst that all is happening. Uh, 12 days. Mm -hmm. I would like to... Yep, yeah, let's take you out at least, so these beavers are not going to come down here anymore. Yeah, I, I think I'm wrong when it comes to the water disappearing when we explode things. I mean, unless you know more, let me know. But I think for now, yeah, uh, never mind. Let's just detonate it. I, I guess it will be smarter to do these ones first. Yeah, because we're going to have to let the water go through. And same in here, if we want to let water come into this area. Okay, so perhaps we shall do a few more dynamites just in these locations. And the higher priority should be to let water pass through this little canal in there. The same for you, actually. Get in there. Okay, beautiful. Now, water-wise, I am feeling you might want to do another water storage in here. So for that, if we go into this tab and the large water tank, could squeeze a second one in here. Oh yeah, that could be perfect, actually. Or even just right here, so they could... Can they still go through? Let's have a look. If we put you here, here... And now back to water. Oh yeah, look at that. And if we decide to give them a shortcut in the future... Which I don't think I want to do. But we could. Actually, never mind. In the future, we want those water tanks closer to the houses. Oh, they've done one of them. Uh, okay, I should really go into the game files to, yeah, maybe limit them so they're not like 40 or 60. Let's uh, bring you down to 2 because you're double. Okay, good. Uh, levies, how is this stuff going in here? We can do another... Oh, well, that's not ideal. That's not going to be out of range now, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. And hold up a second. If this tank... Oh, okay. Well, I was wrong again. We just need the triple floodgate in here. Yep, that's what we want to do. And we can actually block you in now. Because they can still access it from the other side and also from the top there as well. So that's uh, that's all good. So they don't really need to come in here. 
which means this lady you can go to okay beautiful and as long as they can uh, wait a second let's do one or two floodgates there oh yeah and we should mm -hmm. should we put a dam here instead or no 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 okay I should have thought this through a little bit better you are actually going to be a triple floodgate as well and uh, why did I delete it because we want to put another one on top of this one mm. don't we yep so you're going to be this high or one more level one more level yep that's what it's going to look like and Block this, floodgates, triple, maybe we can do two in here. And that should be good, okay. Beautiful. Now with this area, kind of have to figure out how do we want to build this up. Or should we go for, should we go for farms first actually? Because housing is not as important just yet. It is very important, but not just yet. So, for the farms and water, what's the reach of these beavers? Okay, they can get pretty far. Right, so that's good to know. What we'll most likely do is let's just resume the simulation as well. I think uh, with the use of levees, I don't think it's going to be too bad because we're not dynamiting this area. We could get a great like a little canal in here, just to the side. And that way allow some more water to go through. I feel in the future, we could probably dynamite it one level. Just for those longer droughts, for sure. Um, and you know what? Let's um, just pause you for a second. I don't know why, but I'm still gonna pause it. Oh, there's a lot of... Oh yeah, those flat gates. There we go, this quite a few spaceships over there and how many builders we got a couple more here seven in total isn't it yeah just one at the hauling post i know i'm gonna going to increase it don't do not worry and we just wanna have a few more builders for the time being i think uh actually how much paper do we have 22 you're not most are you no you're not Okay, maybe we unpause you. Get a few more beavers. Food-wise, okay, we're keeping at 100, which is fine. We've got enough water. How about we bring some more beavers in here? So I guess that calls for a bit more of this temporary housing. Really hope it's not going to be a permanent solution. Yeah. Uh, let's do one more here. We don't have any uh, spare beavers in this district, do we? No, we don't. Okay, so that's fine. Science points have gone actually really high as well already, so we might be able to start unlocking a few extra things and... Ah, uh, this wind. Uh, oh well, it is fine. Dynamite's good. We... Yeah, let's... Oh, we... Hmm. Anyways, well, as soon as the water... Not the water, the wind is back, we shall have some... Some more dynamites being produced. That should be... Uh... Okay, there we go. You're connected now. And no one's working here. That's fine. So power should be passing through, which is beautiful. And that goes into this area as well. Okay, great. Next thing. Are we going to dynamite this area? No. We'll build lots of platforms, logs. Ooh, blanks we don't have. So we probably need another one in here because then gear production is slowed as well. Although we don't really need that many gears just yet. Another thing we should do, what is it? Oh, 8.6 days. That's wonderful. I would like to build another, let's see, dynamite this way. And we shall do dams about here. And two of them should be enough, right? Or maybe, let's do three. Yeah, that's okay as well. What we could also do is bring a set of stairs straight down from here. And put some more dams and levees around this spot here. They should be good. We can hold a little bit of extra water. And the same actually somewhere in here. How about 
directly next to you. And I believe you should be still able to carry on building that axis right now. We'll do those sections once we get the housing in and the stairs coming down as well. So, so yeah, we'll, we'll do that. Okay, so what I'm going to do now, I'll let the game run a little bit, just a tiny bit, until we get closer to the rainy season again. And whilst uh, we're waiting for that, I'll put in a bit of a template for... Or a design for the housing that I want. It's not going to be anything fancy. Just, uh, yeah, I guess I'll, I'll figure it out. And we'll be back as soon as it's done. Okay, and we are back. I believe I have the rough blueprint in of what we would like to build in here. So let's take a quick look. Right, so I would like to do this sort of like a terraced setup with the housing. And although it's not complete, uh, I mean the blueprint... But uh, I, I think it's a good good start at least. So in the middle, we shall keep the roads going straight through. All the way down at which point it will split into three different directions. Uh, the left side will be going to the farms. Right side, well, don't really know what's going to be around here just yet. But then down here, that's going to be most likely their leisure type of buildings. Now... What I'd also like to do is, I feel underneath the houses is a lot of wasted p potential. So for the bottom ones, what I've already queued in is those industrial log piles. And I'd like to do the same for the upper levels in the future as well. But uh, right now, because we don't really have a lot of dynamite to spend, I think we're just going to keep it uh, platforms. And in the future, if we need to upgrade that, we definitely can do so just to store a few more logs in this area so let's give them a slightly higher prior priority for all those walkways so we'll go through here yep and all the way up as well okay so that should be good we'll do these ones and i think that's it isn't it yeah that looks all good that's beautiful. We still have 5.8 days. Ooh, good. I check this because this is not good. Here we go. We shall also top you up. I think all of that water can go in there. And these links as well. Okay, that should save us for a little while. How far are you lot? Not very far. Maybe we should have a few more construction beavers in this district. Yeah, maybe we can take a few of you down. Open this one up again. And where did you guys disappear? No one's gone into here. Maybe seven. Still a no. Okay, do you know what? It's, it's okay. It is fine. It is not fine, actually. I take it back. What is going on then? Uh, holding post is lower, water pump, we only have one, really? Uh, there must be a different uh, deep water pump. Okay, we got still two over there, so that's good. Uh, okay, we'll lose another two. Still no one. Where are they all going? Distribution post two. Yep, yep, yep. Farms six. Gear workshop. How many gears do we have here? Oh, 300. You know what? You guys are off duty now. Did we get a few builders? Yes, we did four. Okay, fantastic. This should be done a little bit quicker now. And I didn't realize we got 327 gears already. 438 planks. Well, that's actually pretty good. Yeah. Okay. Back to this area over here. They are putting those roads in place. So good, good, good. And back to the design decisions as well. Wow, difficult words to say. Uh, what I really wanted to do is... I wanted to actually have the middle part to sort of go inwards. And then be the secret, so kind of like an access to those warehouses and log storages. And I was thinking maybe we should put those wooden stairs on the sides instead. But then at the same time, I do want to have those decorations... And make it look like a bit more majestic, I guess. Well, which leads me to if the middle is the axis, 
two sides are the different kind of access to the access to the mountain top let's put it that way then we'd have to push those houses another level or tile to the right or left and then we're eating into this little stream in here i mean it could be an option but then uh, the problem is that we're taking away this straight road i want to keep it as straight as we can actually do you know what if we move them the houses to the left and right we could have the access point for the secret storages right next to them so where the levees are now these could be the roads that go inwards and then what i could do is put those levees with decorations actually on on this side instead well let me know what you think what we should do i know we're wasting some resources right now as we're already building this but do you know what that's fine all we need is some logs and some blanks so we're okay to rip it all out and redesign it i think you guys can go now as well just one more dynamite needed and then we can put this blueprint of the house in there uh yeah so i'm gonna carry on building this but if you feel what i just described is a much cooler design then uh, let me know and I guess in a few episodes time once I see those comments that's when we'll uh, make those changes but for now that should be okay what we're doing uh, right now so yeah let's let's just leave it at that got quite a few dynamites in so how about we open it up just a tiny bit we'll bring those roads right about there again and those space shuttles are not done yet Okay, yeah, these are taking a little bit longer. Where are you guys off to? Okay, so you're working there. It's taking them a very long time to build those levees. Oh, are you going to be able to build this? Yes, you you should be. Okay, it's all right. How about we're doing here? Supply is really low. Okay, we are going to have to build a few more windmills as well. So let's take you guys out. And I think we're just going to cover this area with platforms. Yeah, let's do that. And in here... Oh, did we click one? Yep, we selected one. Okay, cool. Now, what are the resources? We have no planks, but we have some gears. I mean, we could always transfer some more over from the main district. So that's not a problem anymore. Now that we have nearly 500 on that side. Okay, you're gone. Fantastic. House shall go there. Oh, another thing I forgot to mention. I'm 100% going to put those rooftop terraces. Right above there, I believe. Yeah, we can do one and a two. And leave these ones open for some kind of other decorations. Or, or maybe even some monuments as well. That could be pretty cool, I think. Alright, so you guys carry on with that. Then once they get all the way down here, I'd like to put in... I don't think we're going to do bridges, or or are we? I'd like to put a bridge across, but I'd also just like it to be dams. But this area should be long enough. Do you know what? Yeah, we'll do a bridge over here. Uh, shall we do... Uh, let's leave it for a second so you can access it like that. And because we do want water to go through this way as well, dynamites could go in there to fill up this little lake in there or a pond. Yep, pretty happy with all that. And uh, let's have a look downstairs. What's happening here? Oh, they're doing those platforms. Okay, we're getting close. All right, so what I'll do is I'll let them continue with the construction a little bit. We'll try and get this reservoir done and the time limit will be three days. Once the water's back, I'll jump back into this game and show you the progress that we have. I think that's when we are going to call it the episode as well. So yeah, we'll be back in a second. Okay, the drought is now finally over. So it is time to let those dynamites do their work. Here we go. That level is done we'll probably want to take you out as well and now slot in dyna more dynamites in these areas okay that is great we've removed that section in there the reservoir itself is not quite ready yet 
but we're we're getting there perhaps we should let some water towards there as well i guess we do or would like to uh however we shall take out these spots in here and can you reach that yes you can so you're gonna be the uh, higher priority same with all this and i think all of you can go you're pretty much done as well okay so that's going well that is almost filled there actually yeah so that's gonna start letting water through towards down here uh, i'd really like you guys to get this done as quick as you can but whilst they're finishing off, finishing off the last bits oh okay so that's done we can have a quick look over here as well. Now we do have access towards the lower uh, levels. And they should be starting to build the rest of it. But I think we produced a few dynamites. So they're just planting them over there as well. Okay. How come none of you beavers are finishing this section off? Oh, and then they can't reach these ones. Oh, what a pain. Okay. We are going to have to allow them... Uh, actually, you could go up from here. Uh, we'll waste a few resources, but that is okay. Are we flooding everything now? I do believe so. So how about we'll open you up? Yep, let's do that. And is that going to fix it? Yes, it is. Okay, good. This one here... A little difficult to see. Unpause the two of you. Okay. Good. You still high priority, aren't you? So that's beautiful. Turned off. Now it's back online. And this link in here as well will have an extra levy on top. So that's uh, good. Yeah, we should be able to finish those ones off. But yeah, the temporary reservoir is nearly complete just a little bit left but at least you sort of see what it's going to uh, going to look like and with the housing same thing we we're not really in a big rush just yet we've got the houses in and these are the iron teeth ones which means if i'm not mistaken we are going to need to plant some uh, what were they called are you kidding me not the trout again uh some blueberries that's what we need to plant over here well that's uh that's unfortunate isn't it We'll literally just finish the trout. Another one's in. Reservoir is not complete. I guess the question is, is this going to be done? Are we going to be able to store a little bit more water before the trout starts? I sure hope so. But we shall find this out in the in the next one. I'm really sorry to do this. But yeah, this episode seems to be already pretty, uh, pretty long. So. so yeah, thanks very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and uh, see you again in the next episode.